sound is essential to our lives. From the music we love to the sounds of nature that surround us. It has the power to inspire, to move us, and basically to connect us with the world. At Acoustics, we believe that sound has the power to bring people together, to create shared experiences that transcend language, culture, and even geography. Whether you attend a concert, a sports event, a worship, or a conference, the right sound can make all the difference in creating a sense of home, connection, and community. As this is for us a fundamental part of our commitment, we strive to create a system that delivers sound in a way that connects people to the artists and performances. Our technologies, Vidal, Scaliza and others, have been regarded as breakthroughs which elevate our sense of hearing and listening. But sound is not just important for entertainment or communication. It is also essential to our well-being, playing a critical role in everything from relaxation and stress relief to healing and therapy. Whether you are a sound engineer, a musician, a designer or an architect, or simply someone who appreciates the beauty and power of sound, let it be a guiding force in your life. Let us work together to create experiences that elevate the beauty of sound and transform the world around us. Hello everyone. Welcome to the 2023 El Acoustics keynote from the stage of the iconic Hollywood Bowl. Thank you very much for joining us this evening for this very special night. On this stage, for over 100 years, millions of people have come together under the stars or the misty mountain to enjoy the biggest names in music, from the Beatles to John Williams, and share a unique experience through sound. Sound connects us in a deep and visceral way. Since 1984, El Acoustics has been on a mission to connect audiences and performers by elevating the listening experience, including right here at the Hollywood Bowl. 30 years ago, Christian L. proposed a radically new theory for coherent and predictable sound reinforcement. The design concept derived from his deep knowledge of the laws of physics and wave propagation. VDOSC and the Modern Line Array were born. Some of you maybe were there, just across the 101 freeway at the Universal Amphitheater for the very first listen of VDOSC in America. And the rest, they say, is history. But we didn't stop there. For the past 30 years, we have relentlessly improved upon that original concept, lighter, faster, more powerful, integrating electronics and software as foundations of the industry benchmark that you all know, the K-Series. It is now close to 100 of the top scientists and engineers working every day at Acoustics to give you the tools to create the perfect audio experience. But now, here we are. After 30 years of evolution, we can feel that we are at a new inflection point. Sure, we could have continued to improve upon the original concept of variable coverture line array. We could have made our K-series 10% lighter or smaller, gain a bit more power, or reduce the truck pack by a few cubic inches. But we are acoustics, and real breakthroughs are never obvious or linear. So just like Christian did 30 years ago, we decided to question everything again. Deconstruct the building blocks. Start for the fundamental principles, leveraging 30 years of innovation and data in room modeling, software, design, and electronics 
to create a new paradigm. This, friends, is not a mere improvement of the line array. It is a metamorphosis. This is the sound. This is the shape. This is the future. This is the L series. To shape the sound of the future, we need to start with a major new design technology, a technology that will break barriers of the current design and not just improve, but surpass and transcend the limits of what listeners can experience. That technology is named Pulse, Progressive Ultradense Line Source. And the first two loudspeakers to use this technology are L2 and L2D. Since the very first line source 30 years ago, the same formula has been used to produce a coherent line. This formula is based on several criteria. And the first and most important ones on these criteria define the behavior of the line source in the mids and the high frequency ranges. Our longtime friends and all of you know that this is known as the best sound comes from one source. It's all about having all the sound sources as close as possible to each other within the loudspeaker and within the array. In R&D terms, we call this Active Radiating Factor, or ARF. The sum of the flat individual radiating areas must cover at least 80% of the full vertical frame, with the remaining parts being the wooden portions, the rigging the rigging gaps, the tolerance. The industry has evolved a common solution. The size of the low frequency driver dictates the size of the line array elements. As a consequence, practically speaking, exceeding 90% ARF is all but impossible. And the smaller the loudspeaker gets, the more difficult it is to maximize the ARF. But what does this mean for the audience? The lower the ARF, the less consistent the system response is in the audience area, and the less coherent the sound is for the listeners. So, to make the perfect line, to make the sound, we need to rethink the building block. Each L2 and L2D contains eight three-inch compression drivers, each loaded on its own dedicated DOSC waveguide, and these are paired with eight 10-inch low-frequency drivers on their own bass reflex tuned chambers. Traditionally, you can find this number of drivers in four individual enclosures. So this high density 
of drivers and the line continuity results in a perfect RAF for a single L2 and a single L2D. And about 99% AIF for an array of two or more elements. The wooden panels, the rigging tolerance, the air gaps, all of these add up to about the size of a penny. Think about how many pennies you can save when you deploy your next line array system. Organically, before processing, L-Series is far more consistent over the audience than any other product on the market today. But the sound the audience hears is a combination of the direct sound from the source and the reflections from the venue and the floor. A traditional line array with its lower ARF produces more energy into the ceiling and onto the stage. The L-Series, with its near-perfect ARF, greatly reduces that unwanted energy. It's a difference you will hear. The presence, the proximity, the detail. L-Series is the sound of the future. Now, the question is, how do we shape the future of sound? We shape it according to reality. At first look, any venues that you see appear to be very different. But is this true for audience geometries? How do we explain that most line array deployment looks strikingly similar? So we have compiled and analyzed thousands of projects over the past 30 years of line system deployment, looking at productions of every genre, every size. And something appeared very clearly. The shape of the audience for a theater, a performing arts center, an amphitheater, an arena, a house of worship, all those shapes have a very similar trend. A progressive increase in elevation as the audience gets further away. And that makes sense. I mean, everyone in the audience wants to see and hear the show. And from there, it's all statistics. When we deploy a line array, we statistically end up with the very same J shape, the same smaller angles on the top of the array, progressively opening towards the same larger angle at the bottom. This progressive shape has been used for the past 30 years. So we ask ourselves, what is that shape was inherently part of the loudspeaker? We designed the L series with a fixed progressive curvature, that familiar J shape, to naturally match the needs of almost every venue. L2 has a total of 10 degrees of vertical coverage, starting at 0.5 degrees at the very top and finishing at 2 degrees on the bottom. The shape of L2D also has a progressive vertical coverage, but this time 60 degrees. The first waveguide starts at that same 2 degrees of vertical coverage as the last of L2. In between the last two DOSC waveguides, there's 18 degrees of vertical opening. An array of L-series can start with just one L2D enclosure. And to accommodate larger and more complex geometries, L2 and L2D elements can be arrayed together with one, two, or three L2 above the L2D to create up to 90 degrees of progressive vertical coverage. What with this line, with this shape, we broke the physical boundaries that prevent us from creating the most singular source in order to get the best sound. But the future is more than just wood and transducers. It's the synergy of mechanical design, algorithms, DSP, and amplification. Utilizing the power of sound vision and 3D modeling, AutoFilter takes L series to new highs without compromise. It's the near perfect line source and that progressive shape that really provides us with more headroom for auto filter, more headroom that you could have with the traditional line source system. And using auto filter just got even simpler. Define your coverage, USPL target, and press calculate. In a few seconds, the sonic results of your air series system will be greatly improved upon the audience. And the resulting metrics far exceed anything you could achieve with the traditional line source system. Air series appears to be the most consistent system we have ever developed, the most predictable SPL from front to back, the most stable frequency response, 
and tonal balance over the entire audience area. However, with great processing power comes great sonic responsibility. Utilizing auto filter doesn't increase the energy on stage. In fact, it reduces the energy in the mid and high frequencies. And it does this full range. If we look at a cut view of that same two box array of L2, the unprocessed array directivity from 50 to 200 hertz is highlighted with a white line. However, with auto filter activated, it's as if the array is physically larger than it actually is. Now, with L2D being 60 degrees of vertical coverage, flying L2 above L2D, we are range from 70 degrees to 90 degrees. It can happen. Then this is actually more than what is needed. And without a filter, the coverage of the L series can be very simply modified in sound vision. Simply move the dimming point and reprocess the array in a few tenths of seconds. And just like always, all the settings of auto filter can be synced into LA Network Manager, truly simplifying, accelerating, and improving the process of sound system design. But as Christian said it earlier, and rightly, sound surrounds us. So we must think about sound in more than one dimension. The Pulse technology gives you full bandwidth control in the vertical plane. And Pulse gives you full bandwidth control in the horizontal plane. For that, L-Series leverages two patented techniques. The first is PanFlex. PanFlex gives you the ability to narrow or widen the coverage to match the venue geometry or increase SPL projection for long throw applications. An L2 contains four independent modules with PanFlex. And just like you're used to using on any other enclosure, PanFlex on L2 gives you 110 degrees or 70 symmetric, 90 asymmetric left or 90 asymmetric light. With L series, we refined PanFlex to produce a more stable polar pattern and an easier to use push push mechanism. L2D also contains four modules, with the top two adjustable with PanFlex, and the bottom two having a fixed horizontal coverage starting at 110 degrees and progressively widening to 140 at the very bottom. PanFlex gives you control over the medium and high frequencies. But today, a source must also control the low frequency domain. Any solution for full bandwidth control, however, cannot come at the cost of audio quality or efficiency. The L series is all about the sound. Yes, we spent years researching, investigating to find the best solution. It took time, yes, but we did not want to compromise anything for the listeners. But here it is finally, our patented technique to control the low frequency domain in the horizontal plane without compromise. Here it is today, integrated cardioid with the L series. Installed behind a cardioid waveguide are four 12 inch drivers in both L2 and L2D. These cardioid drivers they modify the output of the 12 inch drivers to exit not from the side, but from the front and the rear of the enclosures. This unique design results in a perfect summation in the front, but gives you more than 20 dB of rejection behind the array from 200 hertz and below. Any user of the L-Series can choose between cardioid and super cardioid presets. Use cardioid for deployment when the rejection should be focused behind the PA. Say, this could be for off-site noise, or because your PA design is an ELISA, or a central cluster in a theater act. Or you can use cardio super cardioid preset with a stereo PA, for instance, where the energy you want to reduce is not directly behind the system, but beside it. Think about a Linsiger or a drummer who would benefit from an additional 6 to 12 dB of rejection on stage toward them. Panflex, integrated cardioid, both shape the sound. But how do we deploy the sound of the future? The progressive shape of L2 let us rethink how a rigging system should be designed. With L2 and L2D, we have eliminated the inter-element angles 
in all the rigging pins. Let me say that again. There are no rigging pins on an L2 or L2D. We've replaced them with a four-point auto-locking rigging system. In just a few seconds, it's possible to rig together the equivalent of eight traditional line source enclosures. In the front, simply swing and hook the front arm into place on the enclosure above. Engage the lock, and when you're ready, the system collapses and the rigging is secured automatically. In the back, simply release the arm, lift the bar into place, arm the lock on the enclosure above, and wait for the system to auto-connect. As simple as that, the line is safe to fly. We also have rigging and transport accessories that truly give you a fast, convenient, and secured way to transport and store L2 and L2D. The individual chariots are used for handling and storing, but they can also be used as a stacking platform. The chariot lead can support up to 400 kilograms, giving you the possibility to optimize your space usage in trucks and warehouses. And really, again, to simplify and accelerate system deployment from Mono to Elisa, we're giving you a new tool, the Clamp 1000. The Clamp 1000 is a ruggedized clamp that is capable of suspending up to 100 kilograms or 2,200 pounds from single or dual point loads. But this Clamp 1000 also lets you precisely adjust the azimut angle of your system while the system is loaded in the air from the ground. So our series with the Clamp 1000 really gives you the power to rig fast. But what gives you the power for the sound? Only the most advanced amplifier on the market is capable of powering it. Last year, we reconnected how an amplifier is designed with how an amplifier is actually used as we presented the LA7.16i. L2 and L2D contain 20 drivers in total, eight three-inch HF compression drivers independently processed and amplified, eight 10-inch low-frequency drivers with each pair of low-frequency drivers processed and amplified together. The four cardio drivers are powered and processed on their own. So to power each L2, or L2D, we need 16 high-power amplifiers and 16 state-of-the-art DSP channels. Hmm, a 16-channel amp. Yes. Today, we're introducing the most advanced amplified controller for the touring market, the LA716 and the new LRAC3. The LA716 comes with a touchscreen and a rotary encoder to rapidly set up the initial parameters. But more importantly, it comes with a single 37-point connector on the back for connecting loudspeakers. The new LA Rack 3 Touring Rack houses three LA 716s. That's 48 amplifier channels, 48 individual DSP channels, and more than 60,000 watts of power in a 9U flyable rack. And thanks to the pair of LS10s, the LA Rack 3 supports redundant Milan AVB on its input as well. The LA716 and the LA Rack 3 are the best examples of power density when it comes to electronics. And the Pulse technology is all about density. I believe now is the right time to put this power density into metrics. L2 and L2D are 850 millimeter wide, about 1.2 meter high, and just below 560 millimeter deep. L2 is 158 kilograms, with L2D being a bit lighter at 149 kilograms. Both L2 and L2D operate from 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz, with a native L acoustic sonic signature. And finally, L2 has a maximum SPL of 155 dB for the full element, with L2D capable of 151 dB of maximum SPL. That is as much power, impact, and contour as our reference for K2 enclosures. These are impressive values. And yet, rethinking the concept of the line source, let us acknowledge that absolute SPL per element 
does not really describe how efficient a system can be. It's about the full coherent line. And the best way to conceptualize this is by using metrics that truly define the performance of a line array. The first of these metrics is SPL per meter. It defines how much power a line array delivers for a given height. The higher the SPL per meter means more power in less space. L2 SPL per meter is 157.5 dB per meter. This is close to 2 dB more than the highest performing loudspeaker in the same class. The second metric is SPL per weight. It defines how much potential SPL you can hang from a given structure. An L2 has 115 dB of max output for every single kilogram of loudspeaker. That is 3 dB more than a K2 and 5 dB more than other competing products. And finally, the third metric is SPL per meter squared, or SPL per frontal area. It defines how much energy is produced for a given visual footprint. Whether an Eliza design or a traditional stereo mix, it turns out everyone wants to hear the speakers but barely see them. With L2, each square meter of frontal area produces close to 159 dB. This is a massive leap forward compared to any competing product. Even if we take the market-leading modular line source, Kara 2, as the reference for this metric, L2 boasts 2 dB more per frontal area while still having the L-Acoustic's full-range sonic signature. Those are three important metrics. And L-Series is leading in all three criteria. SPL per meter, SPL per kilogram, SPL per square meter. These truly define power density. And this is what progressive ultra-dense line source technology is all about. Pulse gives you unprecedented efficiency. And not just sonically. It also brings efficiency on the field. As a matter of fact, deploying L-series is ultra-simple and ultra-fast. The absence of inter-element angles simplifies the design process. Define your audience zone and sound vision, and simply run auto filter so the system matches your SPL target. Once on site, no wrong angle can be selected. No error is possible. Simply connect one amplified controller to one L-series element using one cable. I mean, it's so simple, a couple of product managers could do it. There are so many less actions to take to deploy an L2 system than what you're used to today. Counting every step, every pin, every angle, every cable. For a system of equivalent power, L-Series is three times less actions than a K2 or any other traditional line array on the market. As a matter of fact, deploying an Arena Aliza system with five arrays of L2 takes less actions, less steps, less time than deploying a theater system of K2 in stereo. As a sound system manufacturer, we need to think beyond the show day. When designing equipment, we need to consciously consider the environmental impact that we have for the full chain, from manufacturing and assembling, to shipping, to operation, to storage, when fabricating L2 and L2D, we're using 30% less wood, 60% less steel, and 56% less paint than what would be used to, to fabricate four traditional elements. Minimizing the dimensions of the loudspeakers and the amplified controllers while maximizing the performance really helps reducing substantially the needs for trucks, fuel, and storage space. It takes 30% less trucks volume and 25% less truck weight to transport an L2 system than a K2 system. And that is 40% less truck weight than the next closest competitor. Adding the savings in rigging, motor, trusses, power cable, amp racks, all of this will truly support the reduction of transportation carbon footprint for the years to come. L-Series is the most efficient an environmentally friendly system on the market. Finally, 
The L series is the ideal solution for so many rental and installation applications, and especially the ones where sound quality, space, weight, speed of deployment, or gain before feedback are critical. There are so many projects, so many applications that can benefit from the L series, whether in mono, stereo, or Aliza. L2 and LTD can be used on their own, or they can be combined with the KS28 reference subwoofer for additional bandwidth. At a broadcast event where sound should be heard but not seen, to a Broadway or West End theater where the short line and acute vertical and horizontal control will be beneficial. With complex corporate events where simplicity of deployment and noiseless recording count. Performing art centers that need to welcome every type of show, every day of the week, every, day, every week of the year. For touring applications where transporting a system city to city and deploying with less time, less people will directly impact the bottom line. Or a house of worship where connecting to every moment really matters. Clubs where space and weight are often the limiting factors. And finally, festivals. With the integrated cardioid of L2 and LTD, we'll really support the reduction of noise pollution. The, and there are many more applications. However, L-Series cannot do everything the K-Series can do. But what it can do, it does it better than anything else on the market. In stereo, for instance, L2 can be used for applications with audience sizes ranging from 1,000 to 12,000 people. In Elisa, L2 can support events from 2,500 to 25,000. We talked about the future. Actually, the L-Series is shaping the sound of the present. We started an extensive global pilot phase in January with Britannia Row and Solotech, and will now include four additional partners with PRG, Tokyo Senko, Novelty, and Winley. The first events with L2 started in January of this year. The Brit Awards had outstanding results thanks to everyone at Britannia Row. This deployment of L2 and L2D left everyone noticing what they could hear and what they didn't. The clarity and detail from a system, especially one so small, was outstanding. And the lack of energy on stage and in the broadcast was just as impressive. Solotech and SSC chose L2 for the Helen Fisher tour across Europe this spring. No longer did they need to choose between sound quality and weight. And the saving in time and improved gain before feedback were true bonuses. The L series will make its North American debut out at a small event in the California desert for the next couple of weeks. We want to thank Rat Sound and AEG Presents for supporting our deployment of L2 on the Mojave stage for the Coachella and Stagecoach Festivals this year. Keep your eyes and ears open for more events with the L-Series over the coming months. We cannot wait to see how L2 and L2D will change the sound, the shape, the future of your events. Thank you, Jean-Marc Scott. Great job, guys. Thanks again. Sound quality, size, power, efficiency, truck pack, directivity, noise control. L-Series is winning in virtually every category. So if your application falls in the range covered by L2 and L2D, I hope you're just as excited as we are tonight. I would like to thank, again, our Pilot Face partners for their trust, their expertise, shared vision of audio excellence for the fans and the artists. It feels great to be on this journey with you guys. We will start accepting orders for L2 standard systems starting Tuesday, April 18th, and delivery will start in October of 2023. Please reach out to your RSM for details. So this keynote could be over after such a reveal, right? But we do have more for you. A great loudspeaker and DSP technology is only the building block of sound design today when it comes to reconnecting audiences and performers. 
As we have experienced on tour with Bon Iver or the stunning residences of Adele, Katy Perry and more in Las Vegas, Spatial Audio and Elisa can be a game changer for artists and live productions. Meanwhile, Spatial Audio has also entered mainstream at home. 80% of Apple Music subscribers reportedly listen to Spatial Audio. So from Tidal, Netflix, Disney, Amazon Music, more and more media platforms are producing immersive content. And we see music labels are actively creating or remixing their catalogs for these 3D audio formats. We are encouraged by these trends, and we do continue to innovate our ELISA platform at a rapid pace with new features and exciting partnerships to support your creative and production needs. Now, to tell you all about the exciting new ELISA feature, let's welcome Jordan Tani. All right, man. Take it away. Thank you, Laurent. Thank you. So immersive audio is not just the future, it's the present. However, there will always be content that is created and mixed for a traditional stereo system that would otherwise require changes in system calibration, tuning, or routing to an immersive system. So the question is, how can the venues, installs, and events of today satisfy the increasing expectations for today's media, as well as support yesterday's content, shows, and mixes? And so, to enable any content from the past to the present, we have developed a new tool called Stereo Mapper. And in answering this question, we are presented with two challenges that Elisa's Stereo Mapper can solve. First, in most Elisa systems, there is a similar total acoustic power to that of a traditional left-right system. But this energy is distributed differently, spread across the width of the performing area, as opposed to being concentrated on the left and right of the stage. And if we were to simply place these stereo signals in the extents of the Elisa PA, we don't take advantage of the full capabilities that system provides. Stereo Mapper uses the extents of the system for high frequency imaging, but as the frequencies lower, the entire system gets utilized for these additional resources. This allows us to preserve the intent and image of a traditional stereo mix while utilizing the maximum potential and SPL and contour of any Elisa Hyperreal system. So on to the second challenge. No longer as a systems designer do you have to make the choice of the two stereo subwoofer configurations between stereo subwoofers that have good coherence in time at the cost of inconsistent behavior in the form of what we know as a power alley, or mono subwoofers that are consistent in frequency stability and response, but at the cost of uneven time alignment throughout the venue. So we can take advantage of the improved low frequency coverage and coherence that an ELISA system provides and give that benefit to the stereo mix enhanced with Stereo Mapper. This allows us to reduce or even eliminate the traditional power alley found in most stereo systems, while also maintaining or even improving the low frequency directivity and quality across the venue. With Elisa and Stereo Mapper, we can have two mixes or two formats without any compromises in system design and performance. Additionally, outfill systems can now be time aligned to both Elisa and stereo mixes separately, ensuring that any content, whether it's spatialized with Elisa or stereo, is always in time at every seat in the venue. Stereo Mapper gives designers, engineers, and artists a stepping stone into the immersive world without intimidation, adding flexibility for venues equipped with an ELISA system to have productions in ELISA, stereo, or both at the same time. 
And when you are ready, update your content and your mix into Eliza, channel by channel or song by song. Use the resolution of the Eliza system to add separation to the vocals. Spatialize the drum kit microphone by microphone and eventually transform the entire mix into Eliza at your own pace. So we can transition from legacy formats into Eliza, but we also wanted to improve the workflow. Now you can program and spatialize content in Eliza through a variety of methods, from mixing natively on the top of the line mixing consoles with Desklink, built-in snapshots with the Eliza controller software, timeline automation with plugins on any DAW, full creative control with OSC, and integration with optical and RF-based tracking solutions, all of which can be combined in real time to best suit your workflow and unlock your creative potential. And today, we're taking one more step to give users more intuitive controls by fully redesigning our snapshot engine with a powerful new edit mode. So once in edit mode, a selected snapshot will be visualized by a dark blue background on the soundscape. In this mode, you will see a preview of the snapshot with grayed out objects, allowing you to visualize and edit every object's position in a future or past snapshot, even while the show is running in real time. As a sound designer in the theater, Look at any moment in the show and track the lead actor's positions in every scene and make any adjustments without worry. But not only can you edit a single object, you can visualize and edit groups of objects, like backing vocalists, for example. But say you want to know an object's position through multiple points in time. By multi-selecting the snapshots and the object you want to view, you will see that object status throughout each selected snapshot all at once. And of course, you can see and edit the status of multiple objects over multiple snapshots. We can track the backing vocalist positions throughout an entire sequence and quickly make adjustments if needed. We've also fully redesigned the snapshots page, where we've added more granularity and scope of what these snapshots can control. On a snapshot-by-snapshot snapshot basis, you're now able to scope how each source is being controlled with control flags, view or hide a source's display, control each source's processing, delay, reverb, and even snapshot queue sequences with a new go-to function. The snapshot engine is powerful and efficient. With online and offline editing and previewing, you can quickly iterate and create complex programming without complex work, while also having more control of an object's properties within Eliza than ever before. Now, there is so much more that the Eliza technologies are capable of. In fact, the Eliza ecosystem is more than just loudspeakers, electronics, and software tools. It has been designed to allow for additional applications or technologies to expand the possibilities of the immersive experiences that Eliza can support. And the very first application to be part of this expansion is Mix Halo. And to tell you more about Mix Halo, I'd like to introduce Corey LaPlante. Thank you so much, Jordan, and good evening, everyone. My name is Corey LaPlan, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Mix Halo. We are so excited to be here tonight sharing the stage with our friends at L Acoustics. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a bit about who we are at Mix Halo and how our partnership with L Acoustics will unlock immersive audio experiences that were never before possible in a live setting. Mix Halo is a patented ultra-low latency wireless networking technology designed specifically for the live events industry. In fact, Mix Halo was born from the minds of touring musicians. Incubus guitarist Mike Einziger and renowned violinist Anne Marie Simpson. Together they have decades of combined experience touring the world 
and hearing their own music and that of their band members through sound packs and in-ear monitors in real time. Knowing the intimate, immersive power of the in-ear monitor experience, Mike and Anne Marie wanted to stream audio in real time directly to their fans out in the crowd so that they too could hear every note and every nuance at studio quality, just like the artist on stage. But they didn't want to hand out 20,000 sound packs at every show. Instead, they wanted fans to be able to listen via their own smartphone and their own earbuds, a scalable and elegant solution. So they founded Mix Halo with Vikram Singh, noted technologist and low latency networking expert. The challenge in founding Mix Halo, of course, was latency. This solution would simply not work if a fan was to hear the snare drum hit once over the PA, and then again in their headphones, even 300 milliseconds later. We had to perfectly sync the two audio sources, and we had to sync them to the exact location of each and every fan in the audience, wherever they were seated. Before Mix Halo, this technology did not exist, but now it does. We can also offer fans multi-channel optionality. That means that no longer is audio content at live events one size fits all. So at a concert, fans can hear the full band mix at studio quality, or they could hone in on a guitar solo or a drummer's mix, or they could tap into a binaural mix powered by the Elisa processor. At a football match, they could listen to a home radio broadcast or tap into a celebrity broadcast. And at a conference, they could stream a foreign language interpretation of a keynote speech. All of this in perfect real time. But the effects of Mix Halo's real-time audio platform are not limited to the physical venue. They can now be felt across all of social media with the Mix Halo Moments feature. Everyone knows that fan videos at concerts and sporting events have notoriously bad audio. Smartphone mics are simply not equipped to capture the full power of the PA. But now, with Mix Halo Moments, fans can add soundboard audio to the videos they shoot at concerts and sporting events, churning out professional quality videos on social media, and effectively creating promos for the live experience as they do it. These features and more are available via the Mix Halo app or in a partner's app via SDK. At Mix Halo, we've been thrilled to see these technologies embraced by the likes of Metallica, Sting, Pharrell, and Aerosmith in music, and in sports by teams like the Seattle Kraken and LAFC. And we'd love to partner with you and your clients as well. So if you have an event coming up with a partner that you think could benefit from Mix Halo, Please contact your L Acoustics rep to learn more about activating Mix Halo via the ELISA processor. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Corey. So the powerful ELISA Processor 2 platform has been expanded to run additional technologies, the first of which is Mix Halo using the ELISA Processor 2 in a separate streaming mode. And in just a couple of weeks, we will be starting the public beta with a select number of certified providers. If you are interested in learning more about Mix Halo and how it applies to your events, please reach out to us via our website. So these are th three big updates to Eliza. In fact, this update marks the release of Eliza 3.0. Updates for Eliza 3.0 are applicable for so many different users. Venue owners with the format flexibility of Stereo Mapper. Programmers and designers with the improved workflow of the Snapshot Engine. And greater accessibility of immersive experiences with the expansion of the Eliza ecosystem with Mix Halo. And here are just a few more improvements we've made in version 3.0. Upgraded MIDI functionality, refined Room Engine, Milan certification on the Eliza Processor 2, and for Eliza Studio users, we've increased the total number of outputs from 12 to 16. 
supporting even more spatial audio configurations. So Elisa 3.0 and all of these exciting features will be available in May. But that's not all. We do have one more thing. It's another tool in Elisa that we've been working on for over a year that we're excited to unveil. Now, as creators, we have tools at our disposal that allow us to innovate, elevate experiences, and open new doors to make art in ways we could have never done so before. In our world of sound and music, that couldn't be more apparent with the advent of outboard audio gear like filters, delays, digital reverbs, and more. These tools inspired artists to push boundaries and explore new methods of creativity. But why should we just stop at processing the audio? Why not affect the spatial behaviors as well? So today in Elisa 3.0, we are excited to introduce a new way to work dynamically, efficiently, and creatively with a brand new feature called the Effects Engine. Now, the Effects Engine isn't based on pre-recorded automation, no. Nah. It is responsive and react to musical and spatial inputs, allowing you to work dynamically with the music and not be stuck in the timeline. Completely designed from the ground up, we have created a palette of spatial behaviors that can be easily manipulated and applied to any object in your session taking into consideration each object's position before the effects engage. And with a feature so powerful, we needed to create a brand new page in the Elisa controller software for the first time since the Room Engine in 2018. This new page is broken down into four sections, the effects chain, presets, 3D preview, and parameters. Now, the effects engine contains eight effects separated into two types, four musical effects and four spatial. Musical effects contain behaviors that are associated with tempo, where the speed of each effect is able to be synchronized to BPM, which can be added manually with tap tempo or locked to a MIDI clock device. The first musical effect is a low frequency oscillator, or LFO for short. So we can apply the LFO to the pan, distance, and elevation values of any object. Start off by creating a bounce and adjust the range of how far an object will move back and forth. In the same effect, we can create a different preset to move an object in a full circle and define how many repeats the effect will last. By adjusting the phase, multiple objects assigned to the same effect can be separated in both space and time. So let's see the LFO in action as we jump to the Soundscape page. In the sources list, we can see a new column for effects on each source. To assign an effect, we can open the effects assigned window, displaying a list of every effect we have created in the effects chain. When assigned, we can also adjust its intensity allowing us to have varying amounts of each effect applied on any given object. Open the effects control to adjust parameters while visualizing the real movements on the soundscape. However, the depth of the effects engine allows us to layer multiple effects on each object, creating complex and dynamic movements with just a few clicks. And that's just the first effect. Let's take a brief look at the remaining seven. So we just combined the LFO for pan and distance. But say you want to have multiple LFOs of different types working in conjunction at the same time. With the ellipse effect, we can create a simple loop with both pan and distance, or construct an intricate pattern that engages all three dimensions. The randomizer effect creates organic and non-repeating movements. Create a school of fish moving through the water, or send sounds bouncing all over the room. And the final musical effect is the powerful step sequencer. Create up to 16 steps with defined pan, distance, and elevation values that a source can move to as it synchronizes with the beat. 
have each note of an arpeggiator match the step sequencer as it moves about the space. So onto the spatial effects. These contain behaviors that react and respond to other sources or stimuli within the mix. The first powerful spatial effect is attraction. Attraction defines a source that other objects will magnetize to, being pulled towards the source as it enters its attraction range. Have the sounds of a crowd follow an actor as they move about the stage, or have harmonies slowly follow the lead vocal. And you can't have attraction without repulsion. Define a source that other objects will be repelled from. That same actor from before can push their way through a crowd of bystanders, moving everyone out of the way. Spatial effect number three is snapper. Any object with the snapper effect will automatically snap to the nearest loudspeaker or a specific designated location within range. And last but not least is inertia. With the inertia effect, objects have mass, taking time to accelerate and decelerate, creating more organic movements as objects glide from one position to the next. And there are multiple ways in which these effects can be triggered. We've actually built a ninth effect to do so called audio trigger. Audio trigger defines a source, monitors its input level, and will engage when the input signal crosses a threshold. Keep the movement simple as the music builds. But when the drop in the music hits, start multiple effects to elevate the sonic experience. Each audio trigger can start or stop up to 16 effects below it in the chain. And in addition to commands from OSC, effects controls are added to the scope of the new snapshot engine. Start, stop, and even change the active preset of each effect. You can also share your effects with the new effects library, adding locations for your saved effects and the ability to import and export to other Eliza sessions. The Eliza effects chain supports up to 32 effects that can all run simultaneously, applied to as many objects as you like. So Eliza 3.0 is the biggest update to Eliza since Eliza. And we can't wait to see and hear how Eliza will supercharge your creativity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jordan. L-Series and Eliza 3.0 are ushering a brand new era for live sound. And we can't wait to write the next chapter with you. This concludes our 2023 at Acoustics keynote. I would like to thank our partners from all over the world and our friends from Mix Hello for being here tonight on this very special night. We're honored and grateful to grow with you. A special thank you to our friends at the Hollywood Bowl for their 20-year partnership and hospitality. We could not dream of a better venue to launch the L Series. And finally, the biggest applause for our bold, passionate, and creative product team for once again defining the future of sound, as well as the very talented team behind the scenes and on stage who made this event a night we'll all remember. Thank you, guys. For all of you here with us, show is not over. We'll now be running demos of L2 and Eliza Mixello integration. And for all of you watching from home, au revoir. Thank you, guys. Thank you all so much. Uh, we were so glad that you were able to be here with us tonight in beautiful, sunny California. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the presentation. So just a few notes.